So I'm the director of the MIND Lab, where MIND stands for Music, Imaging, and Neural Dynamics. Uh, and the MIND Lab is part of um, the, uh, I guess, a consortium of labs that are the Center for Cognitive and Brain Health. Um, and then another part of this consortium that I think is very important is NUBIC, which is Northeastern University Biomedical Imaging Center. Uh, and so we have an MRI, uh, Magnetic Resonance Imaging Scanner, that's in this building. And that would be the same floor as my lab. So what's really great about this research environment is that I can take some jazz musicians, right, to try and try to understand creativity Creativity is really at work when we're doing musical improvisation, right? So I take these jazz musicians, they're coming in, they improvise on the piano, and then they get their brain scanned. It's a kind of one-stop one shop thing. You know, in addition to working with scientists and engineers, um, I think that there's value in adding um, people who are primarily interested in art and, um, and design. And I think being in music is a really great um, kind of portal into uh, into what we do here. So I consider myself a neuroscientist and psychologist as well as being a musician. Um, and I think my colleagues are very supportive of that. I mean, we're, I'm always getting asked when my concerts are. Um, but then I think that there's a deep understanding and a deep knowledge that, that music helps humans in a way that um, science and engineering might not get to as quickly. I also teach other courses on acoustics and psychoacoustics. We're trying to design a curriculum that's a combined major between music and psychology. Um, so really trying to encourage interdisciplinary thought um, and then and, and interdisciplinary in a deep way, right? as in a deep knowledge of the, the methods of how each of these, um, these fields work in order to, to start to create new knowledge. And part of the topics that we, we cover um, is about creativity in art and science. And it's really sur um, surprising. I think it's quite striking how the students are appreciative of the similarities between arts and sciences. And I think creativity is where the similarity lies, right? At, at the end of the day, you have to be generating new ideas for both art and, um, and science. And I think that um, teaching that course has really kind of helped me understand how sympathetic the students are towards that idea.